Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 8th and 9th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. How are you starting out the new year? I feel very strong, I feel very strong ambition for you. So anyway, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, full moon is on the 10th. It is in Cancer. It's a lunar eclipse. Now, that means it's going to be kind of that strong, um, um, stronger moon. Cancer moons are going to be kind of that emotional moon. It's going to be family-oriented type of moon. But I do feel like it is a, for you... It is, you know, I, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm feeling for you. It, let, let's let that come a little bit more for you, okay? Okay. But it is that time to release, relinquish, and request. It's release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need, and request the good stuff. You know, many people say three days before, three days after. I'm kind of like, and that's good, but, you know, I'm kind of like the day before, the day of, and the day after, but my Aries, I feel like the full moon, I feel, I, I feel like you are getting to a point, you know, that, um, you know, I feel like you want to like throw thing, throw, throw, it's like you're wearing a real heavy cape and you want to throw it off. Okay. You want to throw it off. So that's kind of where I'm going with that full moon. I feel, so this is going to be a great time for you to release and relinquish. Maybe you don't, you know, maybe you're not necessarily in that requesting mode yet, but this is a great time to release and relinquish for you. Okay, my Aries. So, one card has popped out. It is face up. It is um, reversed. So, let's put two more cards down. The second card is reversed also. The third card is not. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler, and what that means is I open myself up to my higher power spirit through prayer meditation. I ask for blessings. I ask for protection. I ask for blessings and protections for myself and for you. I ask that the message be of hope and of good guidance and an honest, positive type of message. So let's go on. Like I said, two cards are reversed. That's a stronger message of those cards. Let's go on and see what we have for my Aries. The nine of Michael, Michael energy is our air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Nines are kind of like wrap it up. Wrap it up, my, my Aries. Wrap it up. Why are you worrying? Okay. Air energy, it's your Wi-Fi. You might be hearing news. Um, it's your thoughts. It, but again, I'm feeling like a universal message saying, wrap it up. Come on. Move on. Move on. I'm feeling a very strong move on type of energy for you, my Aries. Wednesday, Thursday. And this is, you know, what I was trying to, what I was saying again. It's like throwing off this heavy cape, okay? Throwing off some of the extra excess burdens that you've been carrying that weren't yours to carry, okay? Okay. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Again, that's a connection to me. Connect with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine. Throw off what is not yours to carry. Okay? Okay. Next card, reversed. The six of Ariel. Ariel energy is solid energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, money. Solid energy, something you can literally touch. So that could be money. That could be something to do with a job. That could be something to do with a promotion. Um, there could be an income opportunity coming to you. It could be also something that you can touch, like your home, your family. You know, some. You know, it, it's something very solid. And this is, you know, this energy is about again. You know, I've been talking to you about ambition. You know, again. So what? It's almost like this Wednesday, Thursday. You can, you have an epiphany. You have this. Oh my gosh! I can't go forward because of this, okay? This is holding me back and I want to go forward. Now, I'm not saying that you do something that, you know, that you, you know, basically, um, I'm not telling you to quit your job so that you can backpack it, 
backpack around, you know, across the country or something like that. I'm not saying that. We all have responsibilities in life. It's really looking at how, you know, when I'm saying throw those burdens off, really look at what is yours and what's not. What are you carrying that you should not be carrying, okay? Because there is a lot of material harvest coming for you. There is ambition coming for you. There is growth coming for you. Okay, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Okay, your last card, my Aries, is strength. So be strong. One, one is always about starting. You know, it's about entering into something new and you need to enter it, you know, feeling positive and strong about yourself. Okay. You need to have that confidence in you as you go forward. You have to believe it can. you can do it. So this could be about that requesting too, what we were talking about. But you have to believe in yourself that things could happen. You also have to believe that there is a, you know, there is this higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is, that there is this supernatural out there that will guide you and help you. Okay, you have to have that belief and you have to have that confidence in yourself. Okay, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. So this Wednesday, Thursday, again, I feel very much like it's an epiphany. It's like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be carrying this. I need to, you know, I need to release and relinquish this. And my ambition is, and my ambition and, you know, my thoughts, my creativity, you know, where I want to go in life is it's kind of like it's blossoming again for you, um, more so than it has been. So this Wednesday, Thursday, strong energy for you, my Aries. So my Aries, if you enjoy my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. But as always, my Aries, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.